Oh, there's water in here. All right, all right. So this is what's happened to me and my wife in our 2014 Subaru Outback. She popped it, this hatch open and right here, some water started running down. Coming right down in there. I didn't see any over there, but it made a little pool of water. You can see it right there on the inside. So first time we've noticed that. So we're gonna try to fix this bad boy. Let's fix this thing. We can do it. All right. Got a simple screwdriver. I'm gonna protect the glass with this little mask. Found a good use for the mask finally. Anyways, and we'll see if this thing comes out. All right, so we we'll stick it down in here. I'm gonna be real careful with it because I really don't know what's back there. It's coming really pretty easy. It's trying to pull that off too. Come over here a little bit. See what's gonna happen. Look at it, it's just popping some things popping back there. And there's something that's really close right there. All right, that's good. Look at that. Oh, water everywhere. Look at there. Look at there. I hope you can see that. That came off really easily. All right. So, I probably don't need to remove that, but you can see right here what it looks like. There's a clip, clip, clip. Wow, look at all that water. That's a lot. I've got to get this cleaned up. All right, see, let me see if I can take the whole thing off. And wow, it just popped right on off, didn't it? Oh yeah, it comes off really easily. Oh my goodness. Yes, look at all this water in there. Look at that. That is awful. That is horrible. All right, so I'm glad we got a hold of this sooner than later because that could be a problem of rust and everything. All right, so let me put this down, let it dry out. Right there. Come back in here, see all that. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a light so we can see a little bit better in there and try to figure this out. I'll be right back. So I found that, this is crazy. You see these little holes? You can finally get to the the two bolts that hold on your third tail light on there and both of mine are very loose one is extremely loose but if you look through you see there's a set of three and i'll shine a light up th through there but there you can see the bolt that shiny thing up there but you're going to go through that hole i don't know if you, you can't see it through there but you're going through that hole let's see if i can shine a light in there to get to it all right and mine's as loose as can be in there. It's no good. And then you go into this hole right here and you can get to the other one. All right, I don't know if you can see up in there, but I'm going to loosen those up. I'll let you watch me loosen that up. And my worry is when I loosen it up, they're just gonna drop straight down into here. And I don't think I'll ever get those back out. So I may stick a magnet or something in there to kind of guide me along, but I'm gonna take those two nuts out and see what my third tail light looks like. All right, I'll let you watch me do that. All right, here goes nothing. I've got an eight millimeter. So I've got here a little nut here, and then an extension to go with my screwdriver. I'm thinking this would be a little more um, adaptable to my hand. I'm being able to get things done than a socket. So they're already real loose, and I don't have to worry about really getting them off. So I'm gonna stick that in there and. Let's see what happens. All right, here's my little magnet. I'm gonna use that to maybe catch it if it does fall off. Hope you can see me doing a little something at least. Okay, so I don't need that yet. I can put pressure on it. I'm doing it. I can see it coming off very slowly. I'm gonna be real here oh it's not off yet all right it is off who is trying to okay I don't need the magnet I don't need the magnet be the bolt there you go got one off now let's do the other one 
can do it once, you can do it twice. One person can do it, so can another. Oh man, that's not even tight at all. It's coming off, coming off, coming off, coming off, coming off. It's still on it. That would be bad to lose this, so I've got to be really careful. It's still on there. It's longer than it looks. You can sit there and spin it for a long time. Oh, it's off. Oh, it's wobbly. Oh. Whew, got them both off without losing them. All right, now we're gonna go see if we can pull it off. Maybe some electricals are out there undo, which I'm sure. But it looks like all the electricals are against the light itself. Anyways, let's see what happens. All right, here we are. We're back. I'm gonna play with this a little while. Oh, it's loose on the bottom, but the top's really not. All right, it's off. So you're getting the first look just like I am. I like it's got this little bitty... Look at that. The, the gasket's dry as can be. Ooh, I don't like that. It's not good at all. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this up. Looks like I can unplug it right here. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. So you can see me. Oh, you just push down, it comes right out. Yeah, so nothing much there. There's nothing on the inside of that. I would think it needs a little butyl or some type of silicone or something on each one of those. Yeah, that's holes that enter in there. It needs something right there. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this up. And I am going to put some silicone on here some black silicone or something that's really nice there look at this it's a 12 volt 2.1 watt this must be a led yes all right although it does have a little something around the, the nuts there it's a little tiny thing yeah it needs a little something extra all right there's that let's clean it up let's put some silicone on there and i should call it a wrap it should fix our problem all right i'm gonna do that now all right, let's go in advanced auto parts, see if they got what we need. All right, so I talked to all the experts and it looks like you should get this gasket maker. They said that's a no, no, don't do that. What you want to get is black silicone. So I got my black silicone and that should be good, but there's a tons of things to look through. So ask the experts first. All right, here we go. All right, so the first thing you gotta do before you uh, make your new gasket, you're gonna have to clean everything up. And I love WD-40, so I always start with that. If this doesn't work, then we'll get something more abrasive. So I'm gonna put a little WD-40 on the hill. It can do everything. It's a great cleaner, does all types of things. We'll start rubbing. All right. That looks pretty good. Well, I can get a little bit more. There we go. Now let's work on the light itself. All right, now let's clean the gasket itself. So it's got the, the same gasket over there. That's not real. This is going to be a little bit harder. Probably get a screwdriver to scrape it, and I could do. What I got here. Got my little screwdriver. Scrape it out.
kind of in a little bit of hurry. My son's making me take him fishing and got to take him. It's going to be good. Might film that. Catch a big old catfish or a little bitty catfish, whatever. Just being out there with him is the best thing about it. Looks like I got to do this for mama. Fishing for JT and me. Oh yeah, that looks good. Looks good. There you go. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. All right, so I forgot. I've got to do this gasket here also around this the screw. Now I already took that one off, and I noticed it's got some gaps and in there so we're going to fill those up a little bit but i'm going to take this little broken off gasket right here and it came off pretty easy on the other one still had to kind of tear it you see how that's working and rip it to pieces this is a 2014 so it's what, six years old it probably means seven years old I'm gonna clean it up as well because it looks like it's just got a good area around it. You just gotta get them tight enough. That's what was really, I mean, I think the issues was it wasn't tight. But this is plastic, so it looks like you, you better not go down too tight. I don't know any torque specs or anything like that, but I, I like to do hand tight. And then a quarter turn, hand tight quarter turn. It's been my rule for almost everything, and it's it's worked for me in the past. So we're about to see if it happens or not. All right, that looks pretty good. It looks like that bolt's actually molded in there, but it is just plastic, so we don't want to do it down too hard. All right, here we go. Okay, so I played this a little bit, putting it back. You want to hold it like this, and you'll notice on the bottom there's a little groove right there. That groove goes with that right there. So you're going to take this, you're going to put your, your sealer or your black silicone on there, and then make sure you have it like this. We're going to connect that part, turn it, and then put it in there. So that's the plan. We get it on there, we'll have to open it back up and tighten down the bolts. Okay, let's do this to this. All right, there's the technique. Let me stick that in there so I can kind of make sure. Yep, and it'll fit in there just like that. You see that groove gets it together right there. Hold it down and boom, should be good. All right, let's do this. All right, so here's the product we're gonna lose. Permatex black silicone adhesive sealant. Looks like it's a self-opening deal, so here we go. Got it open. Whoa. It's got the little spike right there, so I can just open that up, turn it over, and it's open. All right. Now, I could use this, but I'm just going to use that little squirt thing right there. Oh, yeah, that's going in there good. All right, coming all the way around. Hold on to that, please, buddy. We're recording. Come all the way around, all the way around. Keep coming. I'm trying to get one smooth seal made. But it's going to break right there. I should have pushed it down from the bottom like a toothpaste thing, but I didn't. Then I'll come around the side. All right, now I need to glance at it. There's a spot right there I don't like, so I'll put a little bit there. A little bit more there. Put a little bit of edge on that edge. A little bit more. A little bit more. It's okay to have a little bit too much because you can always 
wipe it off. All right, now here comes on my bolt. This is the part that was the issue, I believe. First time that should be planning. All right, right there, good and good. Come here, JT. Take this. What type Take it. Of, Hold it. Don't touch it, though. What type of glue is it? It's called silicone. Black silicone. Okay. So remember our technique earlier? First thing, you're connecting the electricity. Make sure it's the right way. Yep. Hey, don't Put the electricity on there. I'll turn it back into it. Line up my bolts. One two and one i'm gonna give it a little firm squeeze i've got some silicone coming out of the bottom a little bit out of the top all right now i'm gonna open this up gently okay now we're just going to reverse the process from earlier take our nuts Right here, and get up in there. Let's see it. on I see some black silicone coming through so I'm gonna pause it I'm coming out all right now let's do the other side all right that was good that went smooth with the left hand <laughs> let's try the right okay we're on it pulling it down black silicone's coming through all right, good. Now I'm gonna just, hey, okay, it's finger tight. Now, quarter turn. There we go. Come back over here. Just get finger tight. And quarter turn. One more last little touch. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, nice. Let me shut this. Get up here. You can see underneath it's squeezed out a little bit. I think that's a good thing. Time to clean that up. Ooh, it didn't clean very well, but all right, I'll put you back over here so I can clean it better. Peasy. That's a wrap. All right, all right. Here I am with the fam. So we just fixed the Subaru out back. You know, it's not leaking anymore. What do you think about that, babe? Well, I didn't realize it was leaking until today, but I'm glad it's not leaking anymore. So am I your Superman because I fixed it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, what do you think, big boy? Good, and plants are growing on the house. <laughs> they sure are. Next thing we're going to do fix is how to fix the gutters, and gutters. especially stopping the plants from growing in them. <laughs> and old gutters. And old gutters. All right, thank you all for watching, and stick around. There'll be lots more to come. What are you going to say, JT? We will see you later.